What is up guys? Back out in the garage. It is Tuesday. I had 13 orders come in in the last 24 hours. Let me show you what I got. Alright, first up we got this lot of 36 uh, Disney figures. I got it at, I got the whole bag at um, Goodwill. I just wanted to go through it and look at what cool figures there were. I took some out and gave them to my son. Sold the rest uh, for $15 plus shipping. Next we got this uh, Senko ES44XL Super 8 camera. Really cool camera. Uh, I got this at St. Vincent de Paul like a week ago. It would have sold quicker, but someone bought it and then never paid for it, so I had to cancel and relist. But it sold again for 120 plus shipping. Next, we got this Need for Speed game on Xbox. Came from that big video game haul. That sold for $13.99, free shipping. Then we got these Nyjah Houston um, skate shoes. I got those at Ross for, I think, $35. I had them listed for a while for $80, and then I finally just put them on a 20% off sale, and they sold uh, for $63.99 plus shipping. Next we got these uh, vintage Zip D Airstream chairs. Really cool. I got those on an online auction a little bit ago, a week ago, uh, for like $10 each. And they sold for 150 plus shipping. So that was pretty cool, pretty good sale. Then we got the Zelda Wind Wind Waker disc only GameCube game that sold for 35 plus shipping and we got this Game Boy Advance to GameCube link cable I didn't even know what this was it was in with all the video game stuff I bought uh, just this little cable went for 19.99 free shipping and then we got this 10 pack of these um, plastic slip lock. These came from the um, tactical gear buy. So, like, pretty much nothing into them. And they sold for $8.99 free shipping. Next is this uh, Robinson Cano bobblehead. I got this from my brother. He didn't want it anymore, and I sold it for $14.99 free shipping. Then uh, the Bigs 2 for Xbox 360. That sold for $16.99 free shipping. Next, we got this Carolina Panthers um, vintage tie dye shirt. Pretty cool. Got that at a garage sale. Probably a buck or two into it. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. We got this Andy's uh, Ceramic Edge Clipper Blade. It's used. I got it at a garage sale. Probably like a dollar or two into it. It sold for 20 bucks free shipping. Then we got this All Pro Football 2K8 uh, for Xbox 360. That sold for 25 plus shipping. So yeah, those are all the orders that came in in the last 24 hours. Uh, gotta get them packed up. Hopefully I got the right size box for those chairs. Um, that was a pretty good sale though. 
I'm happy about that. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. What's up guys? I just got back from, I had to go pick up these chairs I won at, uh, on an online auction. Same place I got the last chairs from. And uh, so I went and picked those up in Lacey and there's a Goodwill like five minutes away. So I stopped off at Goodwill and I found a lot of good stuff. Well, I think it's good stuff. So I'll uh, show you what I got. All right, so at the first Goodwill I went to, the one uh, right next to the po my post office, I got these K2 um, roller blades. They look pretty nice. I looked them up. I don't remember what they were going for. Uh, like 50 to 70, I think. And I paid $17. A little pricey, but I think I should make some good profit on them. And then I got this Mallard phone. Pretty sweet. Reminds me of uh, Jersey Shore. I looked it up. I mean, I bought it just because I wanted it for myself, really. I mean, I don't have a landline, but... And I looked it up just in case to see if it was worth anything. And I think someone was selling one or sold one for 50 and I paid six bucks. It's not bad. We got this Frogger plug and play. It was four bucks. I think that was like fifteen or twenty. I might keep it and play play it uh, for a while. And I got this Ninja Three. Uh, the games at my Goodwill are all four dollars, which kind of sucks. But this one I saw was going for over twenty, I believe. So I got it, and then I got this power medical power supply um, charger. I like to buy chargers like that; they're easy to list and ship, and just a bread and butter item. I think this was like eighteen dollars on eBay. I paid a dollar ninety nine. So that was the first stop. Spent a total of like thirty six dollars. And then on the second stop I got all this stuff. And those two Polar Care Kodiak like physical therapy or you put the pad on and it heats up or cools down probably cools down uh, but yeah I got those for ten dollars each and I saw they were selling pretty well um, I don't remember exactly the price but I should do pretty good and then I got 
this bag that I saw had a PS3 Guitar Hero um, dongle in it, and they had the they had the guitar there the last time I was there, but the the guitar was gone. I didn't get the guitar because I didn't have the dongle. I was looking in all the bags and stuff, and I couldn't find it. And today I found it. Oh, there's a an Xbox uh, breakaway. But yeah, so I bought that little bag. It was six bucks. I don't know. Maybe I'll save it if I find a PS3 one, or maybe I'll just sell it. I don't know. And we got this cool NFL players golf club set the balls and the ball marker and divot replacer I tried looking it up um, I didn't couldn't really find any comps on it I just thought it was really nice it's really heavy and well made it was six bucks so I don't know we'll see what what happens and then I got this bike adult supporter jock strap brand new uh, new old stock uh, I knew this would do good. I was like, oh, this is something that uh, part-time pickers Matt would get and sell for like $5,000. Um, but yeah, I looked it up and I think they were like $40 or 50 So that should be good. And I got this handheld Jeopardy game. Um, it was 6 bucks. My girlfriend is obsessed with Jeopardy, so she'll probably enjoy that. And then I got these Paw Patrol, brand new with tags, shoes. Um, they're for my son. They're a size 6 and a size 7. I wasn't sure which size would be better, so I just got them both. I'll probably keep one and sell the other. I think they were like uh, 18 plus shipping on eBay. And I paid like 5 bucks each, 6 bucks each. Uh, we got this Wii Fit board with the... We fit game in there. I've been selling, oh, well, I did sell them like crazy during the lockdown. It was $9. I should get like 30 for it probably. I got the clapper. Um, I thought these were like super valuable, but I don't think it is really. I paid four bucks for it. I might just keep it. I've always wanted one. And then we got this Kodak. Um, slide projector carousel so yeah this is like what the slides go into and then this is the actual uh, slide projector Kodak carousel 4400 it's an extra bulb and this nice case this was $20 I believe um, and this was 4 so I could include it with it I looked, I looked the slide projector up, and I think it was like going for sixty to a hundred. I, I can't remember. I'll probably make some good profit on it. And then lastly, I got all these boxes, eighteen boxes of these uh, like gloves, these like food safe gloves. There's a hundred gloves in each box, and there's ten boxes in each case. So, a thousand, right, math? Oops, a thousand in each box, and I have eighteen of them. I saw, like, one of these sell for, like, twelve dollars, I think. Or, like, a pack of two for twenty. So, I'll probably just sell the whole box for, I don't know, fifty bucks or something? Well, we'll see. But yeah, I was like, eh, I'll just grab every single one they had. They were four, they were four dollars each box. So I spent a total of I spent a total of a hundred and sixty-three dollars at that Goodwill. The gloves alone were seventy-one eighty-two. But yeah, I think. Uh, Oh yeah, and you'll see in the video of me at the store where I find these DeMarini bats and one of them was a, like a kid's bat and the other was a softball, like slow pitch softball bat. And I looked it up and they were like 50 or $70. And 
and I put it in my pile. I had this like pile going on an empty shelf, um, and I like had so much stuff. I had to go grab a cart, and when I went to go grab a <laughs> grab a cart and came back, uh, the bat was gone. Someone took it out of my pile. I'm pretty sure anyway, unless I just forgot it on the shelf, which I I find hard to believe because it was an empty shelf, and I just put everything in my cart. And that bat, it was four dollars and it would have been like at least 50 to 70. So that's a bummer, I was really pissed. Like, uh, I didn't even realize the bat was gone until I was in the car on my way home. And I was like, oh man, that bat. And I'm pretty sure someone snagged it out of my pile. So yeah, probably shouldn't have left it sitting there, but I still got a lot of stuff. Man, that bat, I was, I was pissed. I was like screaming in the car. I was like, God damn it. But, uh, yeah, so now I gotta get all this shit listed. Alright, catch you on the next one. Peace.